Hey everybody, in this video we are going to be taking a look at one of my most favorite malls out of all the ones I've visited. This is the Concord Mall in Wilmington, Delaware, and it is a real retro gem. This mall opened in 1968 and was later updated in 1994, and not much has changed since then. This mall is absolutely beautiful, with lush plants and vintage mall decor. It's a real time capsule of early 90s design, and one of the last few unupdated malls still remaining. This footage is from a cold and rainy day in fall of 2023, so let's go inside and take a trip back to the 90s. And the first thing we notice when we step inside are these forgotten relics of another time. Payphones. When was the last time you saw a payphone, let alone used one? Most places have removed them all by now, but this mall had them in each entrance. They didn't work, so I wasn't able to call my mom and ask her to give me a ride home. This is a single floor mall with three anchor spaces, a vacant Sears, a Boscov's, and a Macy's. And we can see the mall's logo of these three geese in mid-flight. A nice little touch. So let's begin our tour of this beautiful old school gem. Here we can see some incredibly healthy and well-maintained mall plants and these palm trees stretching all the way up to the skylights. This place really is mall plant heaven. If we look down below where this little statue is, we can see that this was once a fountain, but sadly it's been filled in. And just look at these palm trees. We used to see palm trees all the time in malls, but they're mostly gone by now. Let's check out the closed Sears and see if we can get a look inside. This particular Sears closed in 2020 and was the final Sears in Delaware to close. It looks like there's still a lot of old fixtures and shelves still inside. Even the old jewelry counter is still there. All throughout the mall are these granite tiles in these great earth tone colors. They're a very 90s design choice, and I like them so much more than all the plain white and gray ones you see everywhere nowadays. I have heard that some people consider this mall to be a dead mall, and I would agree that it shows signs of struggle, but overall it seems to be holding on. There were some vacancies here and there, but it seemed pretty full and had decent foot traffic on the day that I visited. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that this mall will continue to stay open in the future. I guess only time will tell. Just look at this palm tree stretching all the way up into the skylights. That's really something beautiful. One thing that I want to mention about this mall, a while back there was a viral post about an untouched vintage Burger King found hidden behind the walls here. I think I was able to locate where it was, but I wasn't able to go inside. But it just goes to show you how much of a literal time capsule this mall is. Maybe next time I visit, I'll work up the courage to ask them to let me see inside the Burger King. And here's everyone's favorite store, Cool Topic, where all the cool kids shop. And then there was this picture on the snack machine, which kind of made me laugh. It reminded me of something you'd see on a commercial back in the 90s. And now we have reached the center of the mall, which features this gorgeous fountain and clock tower, again, surrounded by these incredible plants and palm trees. Unfortunately, the fountain wasn't running on this visit, but I do have some photos of it working from a previous visit. Stick around to the end of the video to see them.
Over here we have this empty help desk with the directory built right into it. Just more of these old school touches that just contribute to the overall charm of this place. Everything you see in this mall is this teal green color with these shiny brass accents. It just reminds me of how everything looked in the early 90s. Now here we have something really interesting. Here we can see the seal for the now defunct department store chain, Strawbridge and Clothier. The store originally opened in 1983 and was converted into a Macy's in 2005, and they left it unchanged. So what we're looking at is one of the best examples of a preserved 1980s department store that you can still visit. And just look at how beautifully old school the inside of this store is. Here we can just get a good look of the overall architecture of this store. So pretty. This Macy's home store was also a Strawbridge's furniture store. And again, we can see it's completely unchanged. We still have the old Strawbridge seal on it. It's just amazing to see a perfectly preserved 1980s department store that you can still go and visit, still go and see for yourself. I really hope that they never update this section of the mall because it's a museum piece. It's something special and unique and it's worth being preserved like it is now. All right, now I'd like to show you some photos that I took on my first visit to this mall in summer of 2022. It was a sunny day and just the lighting was perfect and I think I really captured the beauty of this place. So I wanna put these pictures here at the end of the video and just kind of show you what that day looked like. Here we can see the fountain was still turned on and working and let me tell you, it was very beautiful in person. I kind of regret not taking video on that day. Everywhere I travel nowadays, I just take lots of pictures, and I usually post them on my Instagram page, so if you're interested in seeing more and different places, please go check that out. There should be a link on my main YouTube page. If you have the chance, please visit the Concord Mall in Wilmington, Delaware. You will not be disappointed. This place really feels like you're stepping back in time. It's gorgeous, it's, it's just one of the best malls I've ever been to. So don't sleep on Concord Mall. If you're a mall enthusiast, if you like going to places like this, make sure you take the time to see this one. Anyway, I wanna thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.